This season of pure hunting could best be described as a season of firsts. There were hunts for species I'd never hunted before like the axis deer. I need a non-resident five-day hunting license. Species I've hunted before, but it had been many, many years since I've hunted them, like the pronghorn. Hunts we do every year, but had never captured for an episode. And several true once-in-a-lifetime tags that were drawn in our home state of Colorado. Follow along as we relive season four of Pure Hunting. This is my once-in-a-lifetime shot at this. It'd be my biggest moose ever. Victory begins with a single step. It is formed in strategy tested by adversity, and forged with an iron will. But for victory to be pure, it must be earned. Join host Willie Schmidt on an epic quest to rediscover the last best pure hunts that are accessible to everyone, if they're willing to go the extra mile. Pure Hunting is brought to you by Browning, the best there is, Winchester, the American legend, Onyx Maps, visualize success, and by Spothog, the world's toughest archery products, ESP, your hearing matters, and by Tenzing Packs, go further, hunt longer. Scent Defense, the all-in-one technology that kills human odor, repels insects, and attracts deer naturally. Nose Jammer, not a cover scent, not an attractant. Jam them with Nose Jammer. I've hunted ducks since I was a kid, and Chris and I met through Ducks Unlimited. We hunt ducks every year, but we had never filmed one of our hunts. Now that the Nebraska property's habitat is complete, I felt it was time to host Chris on a hunt there. This is a piece of property that a friend and I purchased about five years ago. And uh, what we've done is we've developed three new hunting sites. But I'm also anxious to get this guy on his first real waterfowl hunt. Up oh, here comes a single from about 11 o'clock. Nice shot. I think we done got him. I think we done got him. Those three took back. Yeah. The Drake. Take him now. Nice. That's how we want to shoot him. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, no trick. Yeah. Kennel. So each of these pit blinds are identical, but each one has a doorway going down each side, but it's got a heater in there, coffee, plates, a little breakfast burrito action. Yeah, baby. Doesn't get any better than this. Yeah, and like you said, to think that five years ago all this was was an old dried up flood zone, and now you've put this warm water slough in here with, you know, pumps, and it's amazing. But you're going to make a great smoked duck breast. Yeah. You really are. I'm very proud of Trigger the last two days. Sure, we've still got some work to do, but he's only a year and a half old. A dog really makes a duck hunt that much more enjoyable for me. I hosted Justin Roach on the same property this spring. He hadn't killed a turkey in years, and I hoped I could get one in for him. First up will be Justin. He hasn't killed a turkey in a couple years, and we'll give those quiet cats a shot. We got uh, three and a half days to get it done. Justin? Hi. How are you? Good, man. How are you? Good. I think we ought to maybe set, set a couple decoys up on this dike and just hang out and see if something comes by call periodically. Okay. Those jigs have their heads up there checking us out. <laughs> Justin. Justin. There's a gobbler coming from the far right. I don't dare move the gun. I can't, I can't really swing on him right now. I think I'm just going to let him get closer.
eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Wow. Yeah, look, at those, look at those spurs. Pretty fan, too. Absolutely. There's not a busted feather in there or a gap at all. No, and a nice, nice mature bird right there. Oh, yeah. Well done. Way to go. Good calling. I'm just going to sneak up to some bush right up here. Oh, shoot. I think they've seen me. They're getting nervous. I mean, is this the stuff that they use, like, on the Bin Laden raid? Stuff like oh, that? Oh, hell yeah. I think we got a hawk down here. We're going to go down here and check it out. My family enjoys eating the game we harvest throughout the year. High Mountain seasonings make it easy and simple to make great tasting gourmet meals, jerky, sausages, and much more. To find High Mountain seasonings in your area, go to highmtnjerky.com. One of the unique tags Chris drew was for a desert bighorn sheep here in Colorado. Chris spent time scouting and got in a couple of days early to get ready for this true once in a lifetime hunt. Got sheep right over here on top of the mesa. Hopefully uh, they'll still be there when we get up there. Chris loads his pack with the last minute essentials and heads up the mountain. There's still oh, several, I don't know, probably five, six hundred yards, but they're up on a steep face over here. But it looks like we might be able to approach them from the back side. Shoot down the cliff. I'm gonna go around, try to come down straight on top of them. That's all I've got, so I'm gonna give it a try. They've seen me, they're getting nervous. All right, I've got an opening. That youth moved. I'm taking him. I'm taking him. There he goes. Oh. Good hit. He's going up over the ridge. Keep an eye on him. There he goes. Oh my god, there he is. I see horns, horns right here. Oh my lord. This is an unreal moment in my hunting career. Unbelievable, I drew the tag and was lucky enough to pursue these animals. I think this is gonna be the fourth archery killed desert sheep ever in the state of Colorado. But yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> Got it done. The tag for this once-in-a-lifetime license was for any weapon, but Chris hoped he could take a mature ram with his bow. Once he got done pinching himself that he actually drew the tag, he put the time in to scout, learn the country and the animals, and do all he could to prepare himself for the hunt. Even though he had to compete with some other hunters and had challenging weather, Chris stuck with it and was able to fulfill his dream of taking this unique animal with a bow in his home state of Colorado. It was great to hunt hogs this spring with Brad and Chris in Texas. Just arriving in Texas, I've had a hunting lease here for 10 plus years. Going over now here to a friend of mine, Dave Kemp. Willie and Brad are on their way down. We're gonna be meet up with them tomorrow. I enjoy hunting hogs, but we got to try some thermal imaging equipment this year, thanks to Chris's friend, Dave, which was another first. The other thing we're gonna do, PBS 14. <laughs> you don't need no moon. This is Gen 3, Pinnacle 2. It's what the current military uses. It's flawless. There's no flaws in the tube or anything like that. Where a lot of time you buy them out there, have flaws. This one's flawless. There you go. That's what we needed. <laughs> is that crazy or what? I mean, is this the stuff that they use like on the Bin Laden raid, stuff like oh, that? Oh, hell yeah. They had all had it mounted on their helmets. Just turned on all the infrared on the, on the thermal imaging. And if there's nothing on the feeder, we're going to sit here for a little bit to see if something comes in. Dave, what did you bring? Uh... What'd you bring for us? It's a new armicide, Zeus. It's a 640 resolution scope that basically turns night into day. And it snuck down here with uh, Dave's monocular. I think we got a hawk down here. We're gonna go down here and check it out. Yeah, it's a hawk. Yeah, I'm waiting for him to go sideways and I'll take him. Okay. Hit him. Woo! <laughs> 
Oh, I heard him hit. He ain't going anywhere. Oh, yeah, look at the head on him. Get this thing in the truck now. Yeah. There's a big pig right under the feeder. Dig her when you're ready. You hit it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That is some thick, nasty stuff in there. It sounded like it was down there, right? Yeah, it wasn't way over here or anything. Hey, right here. Got him? Yep. Oh. Right here against this branch. Sweet. Oh, That's perfect. nasty. There's some thick bedding. Did not go far. Congrats. Thank you for letting me take the shot. Yeah. You know, it was fun to play with that thermal imaging stuff. Crazy. First coyote <laughs> ever, and now two pigs in the daylight. Yeah. All the night vision toys were a bonus and a real game changer. This was a great pure hunting experience, and we're heading back to Colorado with coolers full of wild hog meat. That's one of those bucks we saw yesterday. I'm going to take him. The one in front. Scent Defense is a revolutionary three-in-one formula from Top Secret. The three-in-one formula refers to the killing of human odor, the repelling of insects, and the attraction of game all in one bottle. Scent Defense is infused with antimicrobial silver-copper synergy technology to attack odor before it starts. Scent Defense is fortified with NeuroRex to attack and kill insects instantly. NeuroRex works by blocking the neurotransmitters found only in insects and causes a complete shutdown of their central nervous system. Scent Defense is designed specifically to attract deer while simultaneously destroying odor. Scent Defense, the three-in-one formula for success. I have hunted pronghorn before, but it's been over 20 years. I jumped at the invitation by Zach Dorr to host me in his home state of Wyoming. You were at Banks to the right here, yeah. and it comes up, and tips back. Yeah. Usually a pretty good buck always comes walking out of over there. He's quartering away, just standing there. That's one of those bucks we saw yesterday. I'm gonna take him. Just a beautiful animal. Haven't hunted pronghorn in years. I mean, since college. So it really kind of got me excited to do that again. Just awesome. I'm always looking for new pure hunting opportunities. When I learned of a free range axis hunt and I heard how good the meat was, I immediately planned the hunt with SOE Hunts. Is it the one in front? No, it's in the very back. Very back. I'm on it. I think you just dropped it. Yeah. Oh man, that was awesome. Oh, that was cool. What a great stock. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, that's cool how he's just rubbing out like that. Yeah, he's starting to get hard up here, but he's just, he's got some velvet hanging off on the back. I tell you, you know, first time I've ever hunted these and started doing a little research and checking out the pictures. They're just so unique, spotted. I think we talked about it. I'm just as excited about the meat as I am about the trophy for the wall. They're just so pretty. That's awesome. Thanks for letting me be a part of it. Well, thanks for hosting me and guiding me around. This summer I've been seeing the moose in these high alpine meadows. And We would have been sitting in our hotel for one more day, guaranteed. I wouldn't have tried this stuff on my own. Hey, Pure Hunting fans. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying season four. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. To find out what's going on with Pure Hunting, make sure to check us out on our Facebook page and at www.purehunting.com.
Outdoor Edge provides outdoorsmen with the best tools to take on the biggest tasks. Whether you're in the Yukon backcountry or back at your farm butchering your last whitetail, the Outdoor Edge Butcher Kit is up for the challenge. Outdoor Edge, makers of the highest quality home processing kits to do it yourself and save. Pure Hunting is sponsored by Fox Pro, high performance game calls, Hoyt, get serious, get Hoyt, and by Wooden Stream. Outfitting adventures since 1957. Shoot and see reactive targets. Shoot more, shoot better. Fog Zero, keep your optics clean and fog free for a clear shot every time. Monster Meal, attract, nourish, enjoy. Top Secret Deer Sense, oxygen free from collection to bottle. And by these sponsors. Chris kicked off his dream season of once-in-a-lifetime hunts with his Colorado Shiras Moose. We're gonna go down here and take a look at this one. We're probably by 70 yards away right now. Oh, here we go. down my once in a lifetime Colorado Shiras Moose. Oh, here he is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's not a 50 incher, but jeez. Unbelievable. Look at that. After getting Chris's call, I quickly rearranged my schedule and headed up the hill to help Chris. Look at that! Yeah. Congratulations! <laughs> yeah, thank you. That is really spectacular. That is a giant animal. All right, guys. All right, Jess, this is the final trip. My moose hunt. The chapter will be closed. Chris drew some unique tags this year and he started off with a bang, taking his first ever moose with a bow after waiting 14 years to draw the tag. His scouting and help from his local friends paid off and he ended up with a bull moose he was proud of. Chris and I were both fortunate to draw archery mountain goat tags in Colorado in the same unit. This proved to be one of the best adventures we have had together so far. Just wait long enough and they pop out. Yeah. They're looking down here like, all right, you guys want to play again today? <laughs> They're looking down here like, not those guys again. I got an opportunity to draw back and shoot a great billy. The shot was high. Gosh dang it. It was up over that ridge. I can get down there and see if I can see down there. It took a while, but we finally spotted him from a mile away. He busted on the left a little bit, but dude, that is beautiful. Let's find that tip. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thank you. Unbelievable. believe she's not another thousand feet below me right now oh it's a long way down I'm not gonna try to move her too much oh, look at that well we came up yesterday and uh, quickly turned around we weren't comfortable we uh, threw some local contacts got a hold of Ian and Wes and they've got some mountaineering gear and a lot of experience I got a lot different feeling today than I had yesterday <laughs> yeah. we got the mountaineering experts here so.
Those are two mountain goats. Those are mountain goats. We would have been sitting in our hotel for one more day, guaranteed. I wouldn't have tried this stuff on my own. Mountain line got to it, tore up the front shoulder pretty good. Cape should be in good condition. It's uh, obviously frozen, so. There's a lot more than I signed up for, but it's quite the adventure. As we hunted this year, we certainly had some things that didn't quite go as planned. There he is, he's right there. I had my misses. Oh, stop. Some humbling moments. <laughs> you mean tell me we couldn't pull one over? How did that not happen? How did we not just pull at least one over? There's a moose. I'll be done already. We gotta get our first stock on a moose. The animals didn't always play fair. Oh man, they're gone. Bummer. Greenhead. Oh. More misses. That was such a terrible one. He's just <laughs> <laughs> slow mo. But in the end, we had some great successes, enjoyed the company of old and new friends, and made some great memories. Just learning new country, meeting new people, and then just putting your skills to the test. Great stock, great weather, good shot, no tracking job. It's the way most people in the country hunt, and we're thrilled to be representing it, you know, hunting the public land. It can be frustrating, but it can be very, very rewarding as well. Yeah! yeah.